Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I want to go ahead and show you the latest mod that I have for my 2024 G80 M3. Um, I kind of decided to make this review video now because I am about to wash the M3. I just finished washing well, a little while ago uh, the Raptor. So now we're going to go ahead and wash the G80. Um, I don't know, sometimes on film, it looks a lot cleaner than what it actually is in person. And this thing is dirty. So, if by the title of the thumbnail, you guys know that I actually changed my brakes, my brake pads. So I upgraded to the iSweep 2000s. And I'm going to show you basically how it looks like on, it's going on two and a half almost three weeks since i last washed the car like fully uh, including the wheels and i've actually had the brakes for about a month now so this is a kind of you know day-to-day -day use how they feel compared to stock brakes and would you get them or should you get them um and is it worth the price tag so first off let's start off with the main issue that i found with this car and with a lot of cars that come with those Brembo's is the amount of brake dust that they produce, um, you know, stock, right? So I know when I had the Hellcat, I changed the um, brake pads and, it, and, you know, it helped a lot. So with these cars, um, there's not that many options. Uh, you could go EBC red, EBC yellow, and the eye sweeps. Um, there are some other manufacturers out there that you can go with and i think a, a couple of g80s now are starting to transition into getting different pads just to eliminate that brake dust and some for overall performance so i went with i sweep because um especially on the forums they had pretty good reviews and no one that had them had any real complaints about them so there's two main options if especially if you want to you know you're not going on the racetrack all the time doing that stuff um, there's two main options that you can choose from, and they're the iSweep um, 1500s and the iSweep 2000s. So the 1500s give you a stock-like brake feel and performance, but they also provide about 90% less brake dust. Um, when I went to go order my brakes, um, the rears, I think it were, were out of stock for the 1500s. And I, you know, being impatient, I was like, you know what? I'll pay the extra money and I'll go for the 2000s. So I got the iSweep 2000s. So the iSweep 2000s, they perform better than stock. Um, they have good braking capabilities. Um, you can feel the, the pedal a grip instantly when you, you're pressing the brakes. And they produce, uh, they say about 40% less brake dust. So comparable... Um, let me go around to the other side because I kind of want to show you. So usually when I drive, when I used to wash this car, when it was stock, I maybe on the first drive, drive and a half, after the wheels were clean, brake dust would accumulate. Now it takes about the same amount of brake dust. It takes about a week. So where it was one day, now it's about a week. Um, this is about three weeks and the brake dust on this so this is about three weeks so it's kind of very similar to stock but to get this on a stock wheel it's like two three days and it's about like looking like that you know and these are ceramic coated so with these brake pads um the dust is a little different than the stock pad it's a little more on the like yellowish like side so when i wet it a lot of that comes right off so it's a little bit easier to clean as well um, but as far as performance, so these pads on comfort setting for the brakes, they actually feel exactly like when you're on sport on brakes for stock um, configuration. And then when you go on sport, they feel even more aggressive than um, sport feels on the stock pads. And I can feel it. You know, it grips. It doesn't feel like it has any fade. Day-to-day -day use. Um, they're great pads. I haven't had any complaints. Um, 
So I'm really impressed with these eye sweeps. So would I recommend these brakes for someone? If you like going on spirited driving and you want something that performs better than stock, I say the eye sweeps are the way to go. But if you're looking for, hey, I just want something that um, performs well, about the same as stock, but has little to no brake dust, then go with the 1500s. Obviously, I'm not gonna switch them now because uh, I already did the 2000s and I'm, I'm perfectly fine with them. It, you know, instead of cleaning it, you know, a couple times a week, now, you know, every two weeks or like basically every time I wash a car, um, that's when I'll do the wheels. So maybe every other week. Um, and kind of how I like to do with this car, especially since it's PPF and ceramic coated all the way around, is I'll do a real good wash one week. And then the following week, I just wet it. I just wet the car and I just dry it. Um, and then the week after that, so every two weeks-ish is when I actually wash the car. Um, and it stays in perfect condition, it's garage kept. So I don't really have, you know, I get this stuff because I live in a neighborhood that likes to water their grass. So sometimes they get those water puddles and it all I'll splash the side of my car or something crazy happens. So, um, but uh, I would get the 1500s if you just want to eliminate all the brake dust and don't want to deal with any of that dust. So um, 1500s for that, 2000s if you want to keep performance and reduce your, your, your dust. So a couple other tips. So when you're installing these, um, I ended up getting two uh, wear sensors just in case something happened when we were taking it apart and I broke a wear sensor. The wear sensors, if you don't know, this car comes with two, uh, one in the uh, front driver wheel and then one back here, uh, basically opposite side. And the wear sensor is basically what tells the car, um, you know, if your brakes are wearing out and then for it's time for you to change it. So you wanna keep those on there because that'll, you know, inform the car that, hey, um, it's time to change your brakes out. So I didn't know how uh, aggressive or how hard it would be to remove. So we went ahead, I went ahead and got um, two, which were like 30 bucks, not too expensive. And I, I didn't even need them because the wear sensors, no damage. I just put them back in, no problem. And I still have the wear sensors here with me, you know, for, for the future, I guess. So another thing is, if you're gonna install these at home, you know, using a shop, whatever that has a lift or wherever you're gonna install these yourself, um, I recommend downloading or having a uh, Beamer link um, because you are gonna have to put the car in service mode. So the rear brakes, because they're also the parking brake, the piston, when you put it in park, it'll hold the, you know, press up on the, the the rotor and it's basically locked in place so you if you don't get that you're gonna have to like try to pry it yourself um, cl um closed to be able to get to the pad and it could become an issue it could be very difficult so that's why if you get the beamer link you can put the car in service mode and then it'll kind of deactivate um that parking brake and it will you know retract itself so when you're taking off the pad uh, it's easy it comes right off no issues this this job can be done if you once you you know put it in service mode and all that you could be in and out um if, once you take the wheels off all that stuff like an hour and a half to two hours and you'll be good to go so it's not a big big job but it is something you know i think you should get because it does provide performance if you get the 2000s or if you get the 1500s, little to no brake dust at all. So maybe in a couple years, if I do change the pads again, you know, if I wear these out, then I'll probably do 1500s. But for now, I'm pretty happy with 2000s. So if you're wondering the difference between the 2000s and 1500s, 1500s, no, little to no brake dust. And then the 2000s, little bit of brake dust, but it has a lot, a lot more stopping power than these stock um, pads. Uh, one other modification that I installed recently that I don't think I showed on the channel is I did get these carbon fiber tips from Northwest Carbon Haas. Basically all the carbon fiber parts that are didn't come with the car. I get all my stuff from Northwest Carbon Haas. They have great customer service and they provide 
you know, quality, quality parts. I did also get the front splitter. I'm keeping this kind of OE plus. So that's like the M Performance front splitter. And then I have the grill right there. So, um, but yeah, so that's it. Just kind of wanted to talk about the brakes, give you a little review before I go ahead and start washing this car. So if you got any questions, make sure to drop a comment. Let me know if you got any questions on anything about this or any other um, stuff that I have on the channel. And with that being said, stay tuned, stay safe, stay blessed.